Time for the ridiculous, and tonight's entry comes from what I assume was a Trump University lesson on self-affirmation. And by lesson, I mean a brochure stuck under a windshield wiper. The president, whose tweets can at times sound like they're coming from an autocrat in a bunker with a ham radio, today reminded us that even when he's playing skee-ball with the economy, there's always time to pat himself on his humble back. Quote, your all-time favorite president got tired of waiting for China to help out and start buying from our farmers the greatest anywhere in the world. That's right, not just anyone's all-time favorite president, but your all-time favorite. I know, he knows it, Judge Jeanine knows it, and now apparently you know it as well. I'm not quite sure how this all makes sense. I mean, when Julie Andrews was singing about her favorite things in The Sound of Music, she wasn't informing the Von Trapp children that they also loved raindrops on roses or commanding them to like whiskers on kittens. She was just like, look, kids, you got options. Believe it or not, today's tweet actually wasn't the first time President Trump has declared himself field marshal for life. I mean your favorite president. I refer you to this tweet back at the time of the Michael Cohen hush money raid. Quote, the good news is that your favorite president did nothing wrong. Okay, individual one, whatever you say. Let's just let that one simmer in the Southern District crockpot for a while. There are a bunch of other examples. Have fun Googling those tonight on a Friday night. They're all part and parcel of the president's kind of flunked fifth grade civics approach to his job. For instance, you can't impeach a president for creating the best economy in our country's history. First of all, that's not why people are talking about impeachment. Second of all, just because something is doing well doesn't give you immunity. I mean, look, a lot of people love Martha Stewart's carrot cake, but she still went to the can. As far as this whole favorite president things goes, if a public figure is telling you he's your favorite, he is at the very least insecure, if not a few votes shy of a quorum, if you know what I mean.